So this is you guys' first time working together on a film. What has that journey been like, and how did you guys hear about the movie? Um, to me, it's been great because of him. You know what I mean? Like it's. It's rare that you find people who are of your caliber, you know what I mean? Like, because we're at the, the point now where, like, people legit will go off and become insecure, you know what I mean? We can't even go to friends' houses anymore like we used to, you know what I mean? Like, all that is dead. It got to be a, a real thing that people really trust. Otherwise, it's like, they always like, yeah. Because people just got this thing that, like, since we're Let's see finally screen. being able to show, yeah, we yeah. this is our job. We're passionate about this, you know what I mean? It's not about money. Of course, nobody wants to be broke, but... You know, like, that's not the essence of it, you know? And a lot of people act like we're just there. Yeah, it comes with the stigmatism like, of, like, yeah. being like petting a, the cat yeah. and just... Exactly. <laughs> like, Dr. Evil, like, bro, Being an bro. actor definitely does bring them, but like he said, having someone that is under, understands you and you guys both have similar values and uh, just about your craft and all that, it just plays a major role, and I feel like that's what comes across in this movie. Right. Um, that's why our bond is so strong out, off screen, too. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but, yeah, I, I heard about the role just... When an agent told me about it and I was like wow I gotta do this Right. and then finding out he was gonna be a part of it made me even more excited Joe Silver um, yeah yeah I'm, I just I don't know I'm proud of the whole way we put the thing together because to find out that I was shooting this movie in December wait I found out that I booked it like late December mm. and then like I say maybe two weeks into shooting that's when they actually told me the release date so I'm like well y'all why is it the, this next year right it was like no this year. This year. <laughs> oh my God. Right, and like you were just booked. Yeah, and it's, it's cool, but like we're so used to having that, that stretch, that nine months, 10 yeah. months, maybe a year, you know what I mean? Some people movies take two years to come out. Mm. But it just, it all happens so fast, you know what I mean? That it's, it's almost been clicking. I'm glad, that's good for my, uh, that's one of my main, uh, that's like one of my flaws is I'm very impatient, so it kind of helps that. Because <laughs> right. I wanted to see the mug, I was like, please put it out ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So with you guys juggling so many different projects, you have your music, you have, you just got off a of Mudbound, like yeah. doing so many different things. What are you guys doing in your downtime? Making music. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, yeah, that's what we do. Like we chill and make write songs. Music. He, you not, don't know this, he's a writer too. Mm -hmm. He writes amazing, amazing songs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, even when I'm supposed to be sleeping, I'm like, let's make a song. Let's make a record. I'm already uh, working on rub. Find a beat for that, bro. <laughs> yeah, let's find a beat for that. I'll rub jazz part two. I'm gonna put out in like September time. Mm -hmm. So I've been working on that. I've been directing my own videos. I had a song I was gonna put in this movie. It didn't make it, but uh, so I shot a video to it. I'm just gonna release it as a single or whatever. But it's dope. I like getting more into the directing side of things and writing. So can but. we see a collab soon? Oh yes, we have to. Absolutely. Oh, yes and yeah. Oh, yes and yeah. <laughs> Count on it. <laughs> you bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> so I see you guys uh, with the movie. There were so many different fashionable statements right. that came from Atlanta swag. Right. Were there any parts of the wardrobe that you guys wanted to take home with you? My Balenciaga boots, brown ones. <laughs> see the jacket I got on that picture up there <laughs> with the pony hair? <laughs> Yo, I have real lamb. I there's, they had a real lamb, yeah. They had pony and then another one's like real mm -hmm. lamb. On sale, they got it for like $5,100. <laughs> And they imported it from like <laughs> Sweden or something. It's crazy. Well, and then with Jason, too, I wanted to ask you, you mm. played such a wide range of roles. Right. What is a role that you'd like to play, but you feel like would be the biggest challenge for you as an actor? Floyd Mayweather. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just to be in that type of shape and that type of, like, ready, like, because I watched Michael B. Jordan go through that. You know what I mean? And it's like when you start beefing up like that, it changes your lifestyle. Boxing would completely change your lifestyle. If you think you with that smoking and drinking and partying and do all that and you gonna still be a boxer, you out of here. You know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know, it's cool to make them transformations. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to gain a bunch of weight like to play easy E. I had to eat like 4,000 calories a day and it was like miserable. You know what I mean? And then mm. I get um, to showtime and have to lose that same weight. And then summertime comes and <laughs> you know, I don't know. I just can't stop eating. I don't know what it is. Dude, it's because food is delicious. I was right. having this conversation with my cousin last night. We were at Bob's right. and we were like, "Why is food right. so good?" Right. Oh my gosh. 